Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. Today's video is going to cover the concept of productizing inside the esports niche. So today we're going to look at a very specific niche and think about this idea of productizing inside that niche. I had a conversation with someone. I'm going to walk you through it in just a minute. But the summary of his question was right now I'm in the process of setting up a proper infrastructure of my productized service. The video I would like to see is how to educate my clients on the value they're getting by utilizing my service. Right. So. I want to productize my service and I want to make sure that the value that I offer in my service is clear. Got it. Let's give ourselves some quick background. Esports is a thing. It is a is an actively growing industry. It's essentially competitive gaming. So if you've never heard of it, if you've never seen it, it's got sponsors, it's it's got it's got fans, it's got a community. Esports is a thing. So there is commerce, there are services to be to be to be offered, there are clients who buy things. It's a thing. And I had a dialogue with an expert who wants to offer services in this in this niche. So let's look at what our dialogue looked like. We're connected on LinkedIn. He thanked me for the YouTube content. You're welcome. I asked him if, if there was any other topic he'd like me to cover. And so he, then here's what he says. He says, right now I'm in the process of setting up proper infrastructure for, for my productized service. The video I'd like to see is how to educate my clients on the value they're getting from that from that service. Then he goes on to, to, to explain a bit more. I'm a content manager within esports. I work with professional gamers. My client is one of the top four in, in, in the world. So basically he wants to get more of those top clients. Okay, got it. So what I'm going to do is review his website because that's the main place where we express what we do and the value proposition it has. But there are a couple of questions we should we should be asking so that our focus is in the right place. So here's the first big question is what should be productized? You've you probably heard me say that this 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 term productized over and over and over again. So at its concept, it makes sense. But in its detail, it can have some nuances. I'm here to tell you that productize doesn't mean organize. So the number one mistake that people make is they take some smart people like you. They take all their expertise and they try to organize it in the best way they know they know how. And they think that organizing their expertise is productizing. That is incorrect. Let's continue. Do not productize what you do. Productize the desired end result. So what you do and what you know is far less important. There is a desired end or result that your client wants. Identify that result and work backwards. Identify, identify that result and determine the most efficient process that will get them to that result. That's productizing. So with that frame, now let's look at his website. We're going to look at this website like, like a prospective client would. And we're going to consider those subtle questions that are being asked that may never come out of their mouth. So I've highlighted those questions and we're going to kind of navigate our way through it. The big question here is who is your best client? So as a prospect, I'm viewing this site and I want to know, is this for me? So who do you serve here? So when I land, first thing I see is a gamer. So cool. All right. I, I have an idea of, 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 who, of who you focus on. Now, the second part of that question is, is that what I call myself? So Sure. So you you serve gamers. Great. Am I a gamer? Do what I call myself a gamer? That answer is yes. All right. So that that's good. I know who you serve and that and that checks off for me. The second question here is what problem do you solve? So what can you do for me? OK, so let me let me scroll down the page here. We build gaming brands that can't be patched. OK, gaming brand. What does that mean? All right. All right. So stop trying to, to stop trying to, to do it all yourself. Uh, do what is it? So, so, so do it all. What is the it you are referring to? Is that obvious to me yet? Not yet. Uh, people you can trust. Who are the people and trust to do what? Is that obvious to me? It's not obvious to me yet. Uh, your dream is our plan. Well, sure, I've got dreams, right? So, yeah, I got a dream. Uh, but uh, but do, do you have a plan to accomplish my particular dream? How do I know so far? How do I know that you do something for me? I don't I don't know that yet. OK, so let, let's 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 continue here in, in, introducing the meta method for just a minute. That, that, it doesn't matter what your method is. I don't care what you call it. I'm just trying to figure out. Will it, will it help me uh, develop storylines as a gamer, as a professional gamer? Am I into storylines? I don't think so. Uh, network in a way that connects you to high level people. Do I want to network as a gamer? Am I am I excited about networking? I don't think so. 
Uh, scale your fan base by utilizing a proven step-by-step -step me me methodology. Scale my fan base. Now, fan base, fan base, I might, I, I might be into. Okay, collaborate with 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 other creators. That could be something I could be, I could, I could be into. Uh, build in public so that your fans can engage with you. Fans engage. Okay, I might, I might be into that. So, just so far, right? Where I'm, I'm scrolling down the page. I'm looking for for things that benefit me. Time out here. Let me explain the error that that's taking place here. This is an example of an expert explaining what he does. He knows that it's all necessary. He knows that it's valuable, and he's trying to explain the value of his work. But we're noticing here that half the bullet points don't really resonate. It still feels high-minded. It still feels intellectual. It may even feel salesy. And the core miss that's happening here is that it's not obvious the problem being solved for me. This is, this is an ode to someone's expertise. So what ends up happening now is everything else down this page just slides down the slippery slope. So now we are explaining more about the method, right? It, it, all these different elements of, of the method. If I don't resonate by now, I'm not going to resonate with more information, right? So we scroll a, a, a little further. Why the method? So now we're, we're talking about this method more. Again, I do not argue the need for all of these things. I'm simply saying that that describing how the sausage is made doesn't get me excited about the sausage. Now, there's a second major thing to highlight here that could be an error or it could be a massive opportunity depending on how you think. So as you scroll down the page a bit further, you get introduced to this next headline. If you really want to make this a full-time career. What that means is that the person he's talking to is not currently a full-time gamer. Will they have the budget? Will they be willing to spend the budget to become a full-time gamer? Because right now their full-time career is in something else. That's what this headline articulates. Now, the steps here are organized. This is a snapshot of how you would work with him. That's awesome. He's got testimonials. That's also awesome. He's got a picture of himself did down here at the bottom. All awesome. So let's look at the site again with the new set of eyes and try to highlight the appropriate priorities for productizing the right service. So who are we talking to? Pro gamers. Got it. But what problem does that pro gamer have? And I, I think right here is where we start to find some insight. This idea of scaling the fan base. As a pro gamer has more fans, then they become a highly sought after team member. They become highly sought after in terms of uh, uh, partnerships, sponsorships. They become more highly sought after by other fans to join the fan base. So the fan base becomes the catalyst for where other things sprout. So how do we get a fan base as, as fast as humanly possible? I imagine that's what's in the mind of a pro gamer. Win games, get fans. The gamer's job is to win games. The expert's job is to help build their platform and get them fans. I'm sure there, there are also other problems to solve here, but, but for, the, for the sake of speed, we're, we're going to kind of highlight this as a specific problem to be solved. So then if, if, if getting the fan base is the problem to be solved, then all of this methodology should only be focused on getting the fan base. That's it. So we want to get you the fan base as fast as humanly possible. What does fan base mean? Now, it's up, it's up to the expert to, to, to determine tiers of fan base. Get your first 10 fans. Get your first 100 fans. Get your first 1,000 fans. Get your first 100,000 fans. It's all, that's all a function of what the expert feels comfortable delivering on. But get them a quantifiable fan base as quickly as humanly possible. So then, again, all, so then what happens is that a lot of this stuff can now be stricken from your scope. Like, yes, there are things that are, that, are, that are necessary, but some things here become unnecessary. If the goal is to get 100 fans, or if the goal is to get 1,000 fans, then only do what's needed to get the 1,000 fans, right? That's what you're productizing. Get to that result as fast as humanly possible. So, so much of the scope of this can be taken out, so now the expert can do less work, okay? So now th this, this method, again, is tightly refined. Do you want to get... 100 fans. Do you want to get 1,000 fans? Well, here's the route we would take to get you 1,000 fans right now. It speeds up the conversation, right? It, it speeds up the mental math, okay? So now, 
We get down here. And this point is really important to highlight here because you want to attract clientele with budget. You want to attract people who are prepared to spend money to accomplish this particular goal. You don't want people who are sitting on their hands and only come to you when they want a miracle produced. That's not fair to you. It's not fair to them. So there, there's, there's space here for a dialogue on how someone with, with an existing career can build a fan base as a pro gamer on the side with this expert's help. And then there's a picture you can draw on how you can become less dependent on your current career and become more dependent on your pro gaming career. That is the thought process that's in the head of the prospective client who's watching or, or, or who, who's reading this, this, this website. But that level of groundedness, pragmatism, reality is not reflected here. In closing, the biggest mistake being made by this website is simply organizing what you do. The expert took all of his knowledge and he turned it into a method and he put it on, on, on a web page. And that is step one. Sometimes you just got to get it out of your head. I appreciate that. Sometimes you start where you start and this is, and this is step one. But we see how simply organizing your expertise doesn't resonate the way you want it to resonate. So what you have to do, once you've kind of seen your expertise laid out in a linear format like this, now you've got to reflect one level deeper on what core problem does my client want solved and can I fast forward him, can I fast forward her to that desired end goal. An expert's money isn't found in their knowledge. It's found in their ability to accelerate people to their desired end results.